let's talk about the Indian COVID-19 variant. We know that there's been a massive uptick of cases of COVID in India in recent weeks. During the last few days, there have been more than 200,000 cases each day. There have been several reasons postulated for this, such as relaxation of social distancing measures, election rallies, religious festivals, reopening public spaces, etc. And the, the role of the viral variant, the COVID viral variant, the SARS-CoV-2 viral variant, such as the UK variant, because which has become dominant strain in certain parts of India, and the new Indian variant or double variant, as they call it that was first reported in March 25th. So if you look at the SARS-CoV-2 virus, you have the spike protein on the surface, envelope and membrane proteins, together with the RNA and the proteins that go with RNA, which is called nucleocapsid protein. The spike protein is the important protein because it binds to the ACE receptor and allows the virus to enter the cell. The changes in the spike protein are extremely important, especially in a region called the receptor binding domain. That is the area that binds to the S protein to allow the virus to enter the cell, multiply, and then spread from one cell to another, and then spread from person to person. Now, as the virus multiplies, certain changes occur, mutations in the gene. Some of the changes of no effect, some are disadvantages to virus, but some of the changes are important as it causes the spread of the virus and other effects. Let us look at what these effects are. The effects of the changes in the genes of the virus can increase the ability to spread. It can cause mild or almost severe disease. It can affect the diagnostic test. It can affect the treatment that is used for this agent. And most important, it can evade vaccine-induced immunity. So these are the effects of the different variants that could come out with in regards to SARS-CoV-2. Now, if you look at the variants that are circulating around the world, you have variants of concern, variants of interest. Three important variants are circulating around the world. I will mention the place that it was isolated initially or seen initially, rather than using the numbers because the numbers are more confusing for the general talk. So you had the UK variant or the Kent variant, the South African variant and the Brazilian variant. And you can see that there were similar changes in all three variants in 501Y. That is a important mutation, all three variants. And then there are two of the variants have the E484K mutation. Now, these have different effects. The N501Y will increase viral transmission. The 484K mutation can affect vaccine immunity and neutralization. So these are the variants that are found circulated around the world, including in India. If we look at the figures from India, on the 25th of April, 15,135 samples of sequence, there were 1,735 variants of concern. The UK variant was prominent, the South African variant was seen, the Indian variant, and you had the Brazilian variant. Now, what is this Indian variant? And this is what I'll try to explain in the next few slides. So you had the original strain of the virus that originated in Wuhan, and then subsequently, early last year, you had the D614G strain that came up. And then you had the different strains coming up uh, with the months, uh, in the months uh, that followed. At the top, you had the B117, that is UK. Then you had the South African. Then you had the Brazilian. You had the New York. You had the Californian strain. And then you had the Indian B1617. Now, if you look at the gene structure, you have different genes that are found in this virus. You have the open reading frames on the left hand side, and that is the open. Then you had the structural genes like the spike protein gene, which 
ultimately gets changed to producing the protein, which is found in the figure below. So these changes can occur in different parts of the viral genome or the genes of the virus. And you can see, I've given, put it in black, the changes that are specific for the Indian variant. The Indian variant, and that is in the open reading frame one, uh, A, B, etc. And this is the amount, these are the variants that are found. And then next diagram, I've showed you the important changes that are found or the mutations in the spike protein. And immediately you can see the two important changes, the 452 and the 484 change that is found in the receptor binding domain. Now, those are the, that is the area that binds to the ACE protein. So that is a very important area and those changes can have downstream effects. So this is again a schematic in the receptor binding domain. You have these two important mutation. That is why they were, it is called the double mutation. Not that it has only two mutation, but those are two very important mutation. And it's referred to as a double mutation because it has important downstream effects. So what are these effects? In the first one, glutamic acid is changed to glutamine and a similar change where the letter was K, lysine, occurred in the South African Brazilian variants. It changed the shape of the spike protein and reduced serum antibody binding and serum neutralization from patients who have already had SARS-CoV-2 or COVID or who received the vaccine. Now, that is an important fact to be remembered. The next change, the 452R was found in California, was also found in the Californian variant. It increased the ability to bind cells. That's increased infectivity, and it also evades neutralizing antibodies. So you can see immediately it has effects on transmission. It has effects on vaccine responses. So given some characteristics of this variant, 15 lineage defining mutation. I showed you all the mutation, but two of those are in the receptor binding domain and those are very important and was responsible for it being called the double, double mutation. It is classified as a variant of interest at the moment and it is still not uh, being upgraded to a variant of concern. It was first noted in a sample collected from October in India so it has been in circulation, but it has had shown a massive uptick in recent weeks. In Maharashtra, 15 to 20% of samples are positive for this variant. Over 20 countries have this variant isolated, the UK, US, Australia, New Zealand, Germany, et cetera. And in the UK, there are 132 cases so far uh, up to April 14th. And this, variant has been increasing quite rapidly uh, in the weeks that have been found in the UK. Still, the percentage is still low, but the rate at which it has been increasing is something to be watched very carefully. It is similar to the rate at which the UK variant was increasing, while the South African Brazilian variant has not been increasing at that same rate in the UK as uh, given uh, for the Indian variant. Now we know that high number of cases increase the risk of mutation. So the important idea should be to reduce the number of cases so that the risk of transmission and mutation are, are less. And how do we do that? By social distancing and vaccination. And these are the issues that need to be handled and Manage because social distancing is not followed properly. The chance of it spread from one person to another is so much higher. And vaccination should go hand in hand to make people more immune to the virus. So in this short update, I've told you that there are two reasons why the number of cases have increased. One is the relaxation of social distancing and the emergence of viral variants. I've told you an account of what this Indian variant, what are the characteristics of it, and what are some of the features of the Indian variant seen uh, during this recent uptick of cases. Thank you.